everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to do this requested um, look. I have posted a while ago a photo on Instagram and you all wanted, I had overwhelming requests for this tutorial. And on that morning, I remember doing it and I was like, got out a few palettes and I was mixing all the colors. So I almost remember 100% what it was. There might be little differences, but I definitely use those three palettes and the colors that I, have, I, I will show you. Uh, but this is my, I hate to say signature look, but you know, the look that I like um, with sort of defined crease and the lighter, mobile lid because that makes your eyes i think especially if you have hooded eyes bigger more open um and of course i use my favorite lashes from um a skido called lash lorette so let's stick on teeth so <laughs> if you want to see how it's done keep on watching okay so i'm going to try to remember what i've used because I remember that day when I did my makeup, I've opened three or four palettes and I was dipping in and out of all of them. So I am not sure, but um, I know the first I used Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie on a big fluffy brush. I had to get this eyeshadow. I actually got it. Um, I got this one and creme brulee because a lot of YouTubers always, always um, talk about this and the peach smoothie is such a great transition color and it really is. If you just look at it, you think it's nothing special, but there is something about it. Um, the it is really great. Okay, what did I do next? I know I've used also uh, the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I've used some eyeshadows from my MAC palette. And I think the two eyeshadows that I've used, let me get them out. Uh, yeah, I used the Swiss Chocolate. And I also used handwritten. So I've used these. And then I think from natural matte, I might have used strapless, chocolate cookie, and maybe risque. I can't remember, but I, I will try to recreate it. It's one of those my favorite looks that's what i do a lot you know when i do the bright um, mobile lid and and just darker crease anyway okay i'm going to take morphe m504 brush and i'm going to go into swiss chocolate and handwritten just in both of them and I'm going to go right on my socket bone and this brush is really good because it's a bit pointy you can just stick it there do it the same on my other eye and I'm bringing it out a bit, you know, don't follow your eye down because if you have hooded eyes, you don't want your eye to drag down. So you're sort of creating cut crease, you know, it's the typical thing, ow, <laughs> the typical thing that I do uh, for my hooded eye tutorials where you want to make the mobile uh, lid look bigger um, giving you 
because you know with the hooded eyes you hardly have any mobile lid so you want to highlight it to make it look bigger and give yourself crease which we hoodies don't have or we have it far too low and then I think to warm it up a bit see I don't really remember it uh, this is the black canvas cosmetics E42 I think I went into strapless and strapless and chocolate cookie just to make it a bit warmer and just went over it Now I'm going to take on a flat brush blank type from MAC and emphasize. So I'm going to put it right to that crease that I've created and right here as well. So yeah, this was the look that you saw on Instagram and I just posted it because I was talking about the eyelashes, which I will put on as well. So blend it upwards, but don't go below the crease. I'm going to take the um, peach smoothie again and just soften up the top edge of that crease i'm going also to put the blonde type slightly under my arch of my brow Make sure everything is blended out. Now let's do the bottom lash line. And I think for the bottom lash line, I just used the Too Faced Natural Matte, the mixture of strapless and chocolate cookie, uh, because I wanted, wanted it a bit warmer under there. So let's see how we get on with that. This is a bourgeois brush that I got. It's not that good. I just thought it would be good because, you know, it's got that short bristle, but it's quite hard. So I don't like it much. Take softer brush and soften it up. I warm it this up still with chocolate cookie from Too Faced. And now I will do the liner, eyeliner. Eyeliner wasn't too thick uh, because I want to see as much of of the mobile lid as possible. So I'm not doing it very thick. swing it out a bit but I'm going to put lashes on so I might use a bit of that new master, Maybelline Master Kajal Call Liner. It's a funny thing, but I quite like it. 
So I'm sort of making it a bit thicker on the outside, but not, not very thick all the way around. And you don't have to be that precise because the lashes will cover most of it. This is quite good for doing the upper waterline because the actual um, pencil is that long so you know you're not poking yourself with the wood of it. Now let's do the eyelashes. Oh. I'm going to use some um, Lancome Grandiose Mascara. But I'm going to put my eyelashes on anyway so I'm not putting too much of it. So now I'm going to apply my Eskido lashes in Lash Lorette. As you know, these are my favorite eyelashes. I think um, I've used them so much and I, I have cleaned them a bit with, with isopropyl alcohol, but um, I think I might need to get a new pair. So now eyelashes are done. I sometimes, because then your eyelashes cover the wing, I sometimes just will adjust that. Just put in a tiny bit here. And now in my... Um, lower lash line I'm going to use that natural um, cold pencil from Rimmel Scandalize because that will make your eyes even more open and that's what I did my camera is going in and out of focus for some reason don't understand why Let's add a bit more mascara to my bottom lashes. And that's the eyes done. That's what I did. Something like this. I, um, it's very, very close, you know. Um, all the shadows that I've told you I've used, I definitely used them where you saw me on that picture. Now for lips, what I had on was the Dior Airy Mauve Lip Liner. And I used both of the Clinique Colourpop uh, lipsticks. First I used the Fab Pop, which is the light pink. And I topped it off with the Grape Pop. And I quite liked the colour I got. And that is the finished look. That's the exact look, well, sort of, uh, that you saw on my Instagram picture. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.